here to teach you a lesson. Oh God, Yarl Balgraf finally found me. He sent the stugs after me. My orcs, why aren't you helping? This is not good since I have no combat ability, but I do have one ace in the hole. Please don't kill me, I'm just a merchant. Hey there. The base game includes a number of houses a player can buy, but with the power of mods, you can buy other people's houses, businesses, and even mines, and charge them rent. This is possible with RE Real Estate. I've also added trade routes, Google's Imperial Bank, and a few surprises. This is Tycoon Tyranny, and I've decided that I'm going to fight back against racism against the Dark Elves in Skyrim with capitalism. Tycoon got kicked out of Candle Hearth Hall because he was a Dark Elf. Maybe you should just move along. After being displaced from Morrowind, he's mad as heck. He's going to buy every business and house in Windhelm. Eat that, old frick. Huh? Note. Tycoonie is not the Dragonborn or even an adventurer. He's down on his luck with only the clothes on his back and a pocket full of dreams. Also, all the crap that Creation Club stuffed into my bags on the way out of the starting area. So the main quest hasn't started and won't start. And the Civil War has already been completed, so that I have the option of buying Hiram if I saw blood on the ice. Also, I have buy a house without being a thane because again, I'm a merchant, not a warrior. And here we go. The first thing I gotta do is gather a little bit of starting capital. Picking flowers might help me. We'll see. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Take a look. Son of a, this is all worthless. The cheapest building I can find. A shack for 5,000 septums. Still too rich for my blood. Might as well sell off my creation club junk. Take a look. That necklace isn't much use to me. I'm no killer. I have a wonderful, awful idea on how to kickstart my fortune. See, Google's Imperial Bank lets you take out loans. They charge you interest on these loans. If you default on this loan, you get a bounty. But the beauty is, Skyrim's a medieval system in which every Jarl and Hold is separate. Good to see you. If I'm wanted in Whiterun and I choose never to go back there, then no problem. Hell yeah, first property. Fellow Dark Elf, I will charge you standard rent. I justify this by saying it was owned by somebody else and I bought it off them. I've been looking for you. Let Looks like that's it. Man, Force Greets are my favorite thing. But hey, first level up. And through speech, my primary skill. Hopefully I won't need health. I know where my perks are going immediately. My moneymaker. Okay, so, after sleeping at the corner club, I decided I would pay a visit to this random bookstore at the library! to level up my speech skill and turning on Sunhelm so things are about to get harder, as I will now need to spend money on things like food and water in addition to shelter. FYI, I have the mods, the Eloquent Reader, which levels up your speech when you read books, and Talking Train Speechcraft, which gives you speech XP every time you talk to someone. Absolutely vital for an aspiring merchant. And I think I just found a better way to make money than selling bad potions. After a few hours of reading. Now I don't care about no deeds or laws or other nonsense like that. This house was empty, so I settled in. And now it's mine. You can't kick me out of here. You want me gone, you're gonna have to kill me. Huh, this isn't even a bookshop. Just got a squatter with a house full of books. A what? Absolutely not! I protest! Uh, that is, yes, of course! I still don't understand what just, oh, never mind. Okay, gonna give alchemy a second try. I went into the fields. White run grapes and wheat and flowers from the nearby countryside. Thankfully, no animal attacks. Take a look! Okay, still garbage.
All right, now to make some sure money so I can maybe rent a room. Who boy, at least Saikuni can do something right. He can play. So far, I've failed at alchemy. At the end of day two, I have one property and I've won it in right run. Nice. And now I'll play the corner club before bed. Welcome, brother. Please, enjoy yourself. Hey, I'm making money now. Not much, but it'll pay for my room. Some reeklings have taken it over. Well, uh, good luck. I'm just a huh. merchant. Not even a good one. What do you need, handsome? Need some water? Of course. And oh, I got a speech level. Taste things to learn them. Maybe I should take up a new trade. Try out smithing. I'll think on it. Spent a few more days playing and making horrible potions. Time to collect my first rent. That's pretty underwhelming. I think I'm going to go outside Windhelm and buy. I know that you can get ore if you buy a mine, because you pay a daily fee to get the ore. Guessing I'm paying the miners to mine the ore. Gloombound mine is pretty nearby, seems like a good spot. Hey, Ebony could be worth a lot. Technically, it counts. While I'm here, I'm going to see what we're working with. Can I steal from a structure I own? Well, yeah. I guess if I own a McDonald's, it doesn't mean I own the personal possessions of the workers inside. And I decided I wasn't going to get rich by stealing. However, I do need tools. Call it long-term borrowing. Halt, Outlander. By the Code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Well, by the laws of Skyrim, I own this mine. So I'm going to do what I want. Or at least I pay for the ebony, I guess. Hey, I guess there's oil on the ground here. No torch. I wonder if I mine the ore, if it'll affect the ore I get weekly. I kind of doubt it. That seems like a pretty hefty, unneeded script they would need to add. Apparently it's really cold right now. Let's see what I can make. Hmm, that price isn't great. I abandoned my smithing for the moment because I started to get really cold. Luckily that merchant had a coat, but I'm still shivering. I'm gonna go to the corner club for a bit. Come on in, just open the fire. Take Got something in Need something? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Some rest will do me good. Looks like I have a start to my path to wealth. Still downtrodden, but up and coming. Some gold and some ebony. Think it's about time I figured out what I can do with this stuff. I don't think I should be able to make the helmet and such without ebony smithing, but rings and earrings I could accept. Not bad. Reminds me when I first started smithing. Maybe a staff for protection. Not to kill, just to ward off predators. Uh, you, you dropped something. I don't have... I travel more, but who wants to deal... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, finally a decent way to make money. Thanks, Orcs of the Mine. I finally almost have enough to buy another cheap building. Gotta start small. Well, now they're just playing with me. I did come up with a good idea to save on my daily expenses. I can cook my own food, make my own water, and I bought a tent and I'm just going to sleep outside. Thank you. Here, this is for you. They really had enough of my loot, haven't they? More mine, more ebony. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Help me, orcs. 
Help me. I'll come back for you. Wee. Miners, help your boss. Take your break after that. Hmm. What could I do to get them to move? Maybe. Ha. They're getting up to cheer and noticing the guardian. Nice. What was that? Time to end this little game. I really hope these guys are essential. I'm getting out of here. Look at me just barding it up right here. I'm inspiring you to beat that guy up and save me. Because I've only got a stick and some money. Over here. I fought worse than you. I'll show you a real fight. You can do it, boys. And it gives you ebony ore too. Excellent. They say mining is hazardous, but this is ridiculous. OSHA would have a field day with this place. Good job, guys. All in a day's work. Christmas bonuses and all that. Well, that was a hell of a mining run. Some may call this junk. Okay, I think I've reconsidered adding health. The captain's home is now mine. Also, he said he made his fortune as a captain. So I assume he can afford to pay a little more. In the spirit of making the most engaging content, I decided I would try out fishing. If nothing else, it's a good way to relax after a hard day of mining and using orcs as humanoid shields. And I can cook the food and save money. Shout out to Simple Fishing Overhaul, Fish Anywhere with Water, and Streamlined Fishing for making this Creation Club content bearable. Okay, getting better. Just collecting my rent, and while I'm here, I'll cook up that fish. And the crafting loop again. Hold it there. You got a lot of nerve showing your face. Feel this come. It's an affront to my people. Windhelm belongs to Skyrim, not your kind. I had some of that racism I keep hearing about. There's no mistake. Skyrim has no use for your kind. You need to leave. And leave these filthy hovels uninhabited? I think not. You know what? You're not worth the hassle. Go. Be some other god's problem. I know what'll cheer me up. Some mining with my mining buddies. Uh -huh. Well, it's maybe so not. Get him, kill him. So the mod landlord has the ability to invest in a business, I guess, for way less than real estate. Which is more than I can see in the sun. Of course. For that price? Sure. It's all in this note. Bruh. No! God! No! 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 So I learned the spell mine from useful alteration, but I don't have the magicka for it. So I'll drop a couple points in alteration. Next point in smithing. Elven seems fitting, especially since I won't be going into Dwemer ruins. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. So I've decided I want to buy Yerim, Windhelm's player house. So I need to do need Blood on the Ice. And I've also decided after nearly dying in a mine several times, I'm going to hire a bodyguard. I have the cash available. If you're looking to hire the strongest mercenary in Skyrim, I'd wager your search is over. You got it, dude. My blade is sharp and I thirst for battle. Onward, then. Of course, he probably expects to be in a tale of high adventure, but I'm literally spending 95% of my time in town. Heard they reform everything all right? Man, I don't care about the Dawn Guard. All right, then. I noticed the trail of blood leading away from here. Give me that key. Yerim? 
Well, I'm not sure what you think you'll find there, but you're welcome to have a look. I'm pretty sure blood on the ass requires you to fight somebody. Sinvar better earn his keep. Mm -hmm. Time to search for clues. Jinkies. Huh, Palace of Kings guy. I wonder if that was an intentional red herring. Oh my god, Saturalia Scarf. The killer is Santa Claus. Interesting. Is what I would be saying if I was a warrior, but I'm just a merchant. Jorleaf, give me free hints. I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to a colleague store at the House of Curiosities. Let me see. Traditionally, it's carried by the court. I would uh, be in for For a piece like that, I could pay 500 gold. Well, I do like gold. Wonderful. This will be a splendid addition to my private collection. Cord wizard, huh? Now, I do remember if you go straight to him, you get the real killer. Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Jacques. I beg your pardon? Necromancy. I am a member of the College of Winterhold. In good standing. They haven't allowed necromancy for hundreds of years. I found your journal. He's like, that's impossible. I don't know how to read. My what now? I've never kept a journal, I can assure you. What exactly did this amulet look like? That is the necromancer's amulet of legend. It appears you were at least half right. There is necromancy at the heart of this. Well, I guess that shopkeeper was wrong, or wait a minute. Later that night, I also bought some new fur clothes. Uh, stop right there, criminal scum. I got you. Citizens arrest. Come with me if you feel like it. Come on, guard. Back me up here. I'll hit you with this stick. You know, right after I take a water break. I was jogging awfully hard. Where the heck is Stenvar? There we go. Get him, Stenvar. You don't what? He's just running away. After running around the city for a while, he finally went to hear him. Get him, Stenvar! Get him. No, you get him. That's what I'm paying you for. Stenvar, your quarterly review's coming up, and I just had to swing a weapon at somebody. I don't know if you're going to get that Christmas bonus. Izmir's beard. The man was always a bit odd, but I wouldn't have expected. You've done the city a mighty service, friend. I believe you'll find the guards to be a bit more cordial with you in the future. <laughs> All right, I got some new boots. Everything's all wrapped up nicely. And it appears neither one of them have the dialogue to buy property. Huh, I mean, if nobody's living there and there's a bed, technically I could just sleep there. I count that as a win. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Another week, another septum. Yeah, I'm saving you the pain of watching me go through the crafting loop a million times. But also, at some point during that week, I got another property. Also, this necromancer's amulet is worth a lot. I could buy half of a house for that. Well, half of a dark elf hovel, anyway. Just gotta find somebody who's who can afford to buy it. Also, I found better ebony jewelry I can make. It might be based on my skill. If I produce much more, the merchants aren't going to be able to buy what I'm selling. And another property. I'll be nice this time. I had a friend say this is just like Monopoly with extra step. Well, this is the part of Monopoly where you start buying everything and putting hotels on everything. And all the other players can't afford to move anywhere. Even without my craft tank, I can almost afford to buy one property a week now. But I'm gonna aim higher. Need to buy some businesses. You haven't seen my new toy yet. I could just run through the mines spamming this spell. No more elemental attacks. Although they did give ore too. It means I don't have to worry about bodyguards or danger. I think Orcish makes more sense. Hey, if I find any dwarven metal, at least I can do something with it. 
Clan Shattershield, how the mighty have fallen. Suddenly I remembered that one dude who is a murderer is in jail, and nobody owns his shop. I'm going to buy it. I'm just going to assume that I hired somebody to take care of it, you know. And uh, the dude's in jail, so uh, by some trickery, I don't think anybody can attack me for having very high rent. I'm going to start rounding out my collection. Man, rent day is going to be huge this week. Can't really buy Tormund's Tales because uh, he's a squatter. Also, it's not a vanilla building. I'm zipping ahead here because the next denomination of properties is 75000 So it took me a while to save up for him. Oh boy, that is quite the payout. I left it in the box for your benefit. I mean, also so I didn't spend it. Hey, guess what? My smithing is higher now. After three more weeks of training it, I know exactly what I'm going for. Now I can actually make something more of this ebony. I've reached that point where they don't have enough gold to buy. I need to find a new market. Good afternoon. After some more quick and easy mining, I made some ebony bows. And yet I still have the problem that there's nobody to sell them to. I mean, if the war was still on, the Stormcloaks would be pretty elated about this. They can't complain about us Dark Elves not doing anything to help. But I'm not doing it for free. It'd be cool if I could uh, just sell them directly to the army. What I need, though, is a new place with a new pot of gold to sell to. And I'll come back and buy more properties. One more trip to the mine, and then I'm going to head to Riften to see if their marketplace can handle me. We're here to teach you a lesson. Oh god, Jarl Balgraf finally found me! He sent the stugs after me! My orcs, why aren't you helping? This is not good since I have no combat ability, but I do have one ace in the hole. Please don't kill me, I'm just a merchant. I swear I'll pay back the loan I've defaulted on. I guess my orc workers really don't like me. Stenvar, I believe in you. Stenvar, you failed me. At least that guy is a music lover. Ugh. I've got all these ebony bows, but no skill with a bow. Orc, save your boss. Hey, uh, they're carrying a bunch of gold and stuff. This could actually be quite lucrative. Dude's got a crossbow. Who's funding these guys? Hey, that, that oil. I have an idea. Now that I'm at full health. All right, Sinvar, that's coming out of your pay. All right, let's see if between all these guys I can get enough money to buy a business. See for yourself. Also, seeing how that mine experience went, while I'm here, I'm going to hire a second bodyguard. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. My first stop will be Candlehearth Hall. Hi, because they make a lot of money. That's a pretty hefty payout. Making quite a name for myself. Even if some thugs come after me. How do you like me now, Elda Early Dawn? Worthless. Everyone like you is completely worthless. You work for me. I could fire you if I wanted to. How about this? I'm going to perform here one last time. For old time's sake. Hey, Elda Early Dawn is fired. The rest of you can keep your jobs. As long as you're not really jerks. I know I invested in it earlier, now I'm just gonna buy it. 
The question now is, what don't I own? Oh, hey, Naranya's house. Thanks for all the support over these couple months. And now I own your house. Somewhat realistic, the rich get richer. Hey, so I've determined that the last thing I have to buy is the corner club. So without further ado, this place kinda sucks. But fear not, fellow dark elves. By the power of my slam poetry and my contributions, I will fix the floorboard. And I'll run the candle hearth hall into the ground at the same time because I own that too. Hey, so thanks very much for watching. I know this was a little different and not canon to my story. This is a start of something I might do every now and then called dumb concept videos. Made popular by people like Juve. We'll see how it does. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want Tycoonie to keep buying things. Because this doesn't need to end here. With real estate and Lawbringer and lots of followers, I can build an empire of gold. Until next time, happy modding.